So in this market for the photographers that is dominated by Adobe Lightroom or Adobe Photoshop, it's very nice to have a very solid competition who can bring for fraction of the cost almost the same features that other applications. So we speak about uh, Luminary from Skylum and this application is have it their own strings as well as have it some um, minuses that for example I miss it when I'm using like Lightroom or other things. So let's look a little bit closer on this application and I'm recording some tutorials right now so we can look more hands-on how the function work what you can do with this to achieve best result this is just overview kind of introductory um, of these applications things that I like it and things maybe will be need be improvement uh, let's go first with the stuff that I kind of miss it from other ones it is preview of multiple photos even you can go open and you can open batch files processing or you can have a single file but you notice when you open one file you have it normal of your view so you don't necessarily have it um, preview like in uh, another application for example if we have a bridge okay and a bridge you can see I like when I can preview multiple photos and I can select directly from here this is I kind of miss that options um, also even this kind of uh, plugin install it and uh, work with Photoshop and Lightroom however if you have an XML it's special file with the properties inside the bridge for the rotation of the image and other adjustments it does not necessarily will read in a Skylum application however um, if you have it you can let me rotate this image okay few more times however if you have um, properly set in your camera then it will read properties from the camera and positioning vertical or horizontal your image depend on how it was taking in my camera I disabled because I used many times for the videos and don't want to go back and forward between this and it's not a big deal to go in rotation however I would like if it's when you install as a plugin it's actually will have a little bit more capability and read those files from the process this directory and apply some of that list rotational settings into the file however it's not very big deal okay the application first things what I notice it's respond extremely fast so in some cases and I have a nice computer but beside that it's still very fast um, working it does not necessarily pre-caching so that is one other one uh, pre-caching multiple images so it's maybe another but it does provide all this necessary um, options notice right here we have it a menu and this is very clean design you can always change it there will be nice if you have a little bit more options on the top but you can customize but also uh, some presets and at first you kind of need to go around and look but generally this is very clean very easy to work with interface so let's look fast what we have here and as usual in the file menu we have it our generic access export all open files um, show workspaces presets so if you have it you can import presets and that is totally separate this is a very big power in these applications with a save presets have presets and apply them as a batch um, if you work for example I do work uh, Adobe stock and have it images and sometimes have a big photo shoot with many images someone submit currently Lightroom introduce a feature when you can go inside Lightroom select images process them and submit same time to the um, Adobe stock right here you have one extra step because you can still do exactly the same processing with a batch which is very powerful and destructive but you can export and you still can submit but you need to do a little bit different way but overall it's worked quite a bit fast on the batch files here okay so we have an export and also we have the you notice before um, when we have it plugins and currently I have it for Photoshop and Lightroom enable 
We also have a support multiple different languages. Um, it's a basic languages, but again, it's cover majority. And we also have it all options as edit, image, user, rotation, adjustment. Uh, notice right here we have it lens distortions, remove it and differentiate. And this is actually nice because it's a think about this, it's a layering non-destructive add-on. So for example, if I have it fixed lens distortions, it will apply it as well. I can go inside the filters and I can um, apply and work with my filters so they can visible and I can modify and add all this to my workflow. So as an example, we can go and just add filters. We'll see extend. And notice right here, we have a large selection of the filters that you can additionally add other presets um, on the bottom or filters. And the same things, we have it, some enhancer, lens. The couple things I found very impressive, for example, raw development. And you notice right here, we have it, our uh, settings. If you work with camera raw in Adobe, you will be very familiar with the highlights, adjustments, and with the shadows as well, pull out. So it's very similar. Um, clarity is semi HDRI. It's detecting edge and based on this, add a little bit of the overlay. But I wish it was um, additional properties, which is actually same missing in camera raw. It is adjust how many pixels will take in calculations, so how thin you want or why this area as well. But again, anyway, clarity right here, you have options side of whites and blacks. So this is very similar what you have it in a camera raw. Um, a couple of things I found, the highlights actually not a work, um, pull out a little bit more. And again, this is maybe my perspective, but it's pull a little bit more in the uh, luminar than in, for example, inside the camera raw and right here you can see we have it if we go about zero okay let's double time click to set to zero you can see our sky is almost, uh, it's fully pulling away and we can go bring back our highlights and now we have it um start here with nice clouds nice atmosphere display as well so it does work um well as a processing and again it's extremely fast so right here we have it more um, type of the adjustments okay as well as we work with the properties and again I'll have tutorials and process of recording them when we take project files and processing here with all these presets and see how it's working okay overall you notice we have a nice instantial filters which is here we have a fix specific issue for example the noiser is work very nice um, like example I have some image that was shot inside kind of dark um, place okay let's go just open this one as example so I don't need to save this one and we'll just go so let's go open this one and if you come closer on this you'll notice we have it, some noise right here going right there digital noise and it was shot a little bit in a dark area. Okay, so again, we're going right there. We, if we add denoiser, it will actually work very well with removing um, color so we can boost up. There you go. You can see how well it's already cleaning, removing. So overall, it does produce the filters by itself. I found they're very solid they work very well and produce very good result of course you need to kind of know what they can do how work with them and likely for this if you're going to your help you'll have a very nice video tutorials and user guide that i highly recommend for you to watch and um or read documentation and if you like it uh because we'll have a hands-on project-based tutorials that we open specific like for example he, this image which is have it high noise and make it worse it does not have a very sharp kind of image so we'll see how we can recover for example this one image in the, um luminar in this application and see how we can work okay so we have it um back to the filters We'll have it our essential fixed problems and they grouped 
creative when we need to add additional some a little bit more professional and one nice we have it a lot mapping so if you work with different like lot professional or other application where you can pre-create your um lot your tables you can actually use and mapping them in this application which is kind of very nice in this case so we can load a custom lot file and apply those colors okay and as well you notice we have it another one utilities which allowed us a little bit more manipulate with the image coloring and other properties so it's not overwhelmed but it's give it a very uh, wide and uh, full professional area to modify and work with these filters okay so let's go ahead we can remove some of those ones uh, also nice option that it is support layers so we can have it multiple layers modify retouching and those layers we can stack up and work same like you have it in other um, applications like photoshop or other ones which using layers this is good option because again that is non-destructive you don't apply to image you're just saving all the commands that will load it okay notice on the bottom right here is open when we have it our presets that you can save and this is will have it much faster so you can go and apply all these presets you can select the different categories um, which already for example basic portraits we can go directly to the portrait and just apply those presets and very intuitively we can also customizing amount of how that specific filter can be applied to this image okay it's overall what i'll say it is very solid um very fast and nice application with small footprint best part of all of this application and this is probably make a winner this application against other ones it is you pay once and you use it so you don't need pay monthly subscription fee uh, for this application same like you're doing with adobe cloud and i missed in some cases this way because many times i need go and it does not necessarily now they kind of fix that problem was earlier when you need a thick gate you need the login now so you have it time you can work but it's still if you don't pay your monthly fee you don't use the application anymore this is it's very low price it relatively it's very nice application very solidly done um, you can run very well on a laptop currently i'm running on a desktop but i also run on my macbook so it's run very fast there as well and uh, between them you can work also one more things export i do like the additional export image when it was added that i can mail to my client or what you wanted or i can share on social networks as well twitter or facebook in this case when i process image i like it i can just click and it will does the magic for me without opening file readjusting doing all those adjustments and posting afterwards so this is kind of nice when you want to work with the specific clients or you just want to post it on social media okay so if you interested in these applications and want to explore more i do recommend for you going on a skylum.com website going on luminar and right here you can see it's only 70 dollars it is fraction about what if you paid for the photo about 10 dollars this about seven months will pay off for that application but you don't need to pay anymore it's fully application full workable application that you can install it and work it's very compatible uh compatible compatible to the um not necessarily photoshop because more heavy but to the lightroom in some case how it's work again go right here download it um try it or buy it wherever you like it and see uh, let me know what do you think about this